Before the conversion work is carried out on the vehicle, a brief initial test must be completed, and any arising faults must be remedied in advance at the customer's request. Disconnect the battery. Remove the upper engine cover. And the intake air duct. Then remove the engine air intake duct after the air filter and disconnect the electrical connector. Position the air filter housing with the engine control unit and connected lines on the engine. Now disconnect the electrical connection of the lambda sensor on the engine wiring harness and seal it with the plug housing. This electrical connection is no longer required. Remove the holder from the air filter housing. Now remove the lambda sensor on the catalytic converter. The lambda sensor is no longer needed. Unfasten the pressure line before the diesel particulate filter and set it aside. Remove the pressure line holder so that the pressure line hangs freely. For additional work, lift the vehicle with the vehicle lift. Start by removing the engine compartment lining of the center and rear, as well as the side trim. The side trim does not have to be removed completely. Now you can loosen the cover at the wheel arch on the lower right and release the control unit with NOx sensor. Remove the AdBlue metering valve on the catalytic converter end. the temperature sensor before the catalytic converter. Detach the soot particulate sensor after the catalytic converter from the exhaust pipe and unbolt the control unit from the underbody. Next, remove the NOx sensor with control unit after the catalytic converter. The two exhaust rubber supports on the crossmember holder and on the front holder must be removed.
Next, loosen the exhaust clamps before and after the catalytic converter. The catalytic converter can then be removed. Remove the diesel particulate filter. Next, disconnect both pressure lines on the catalytic converter. Lower the vehicle with the vehicle lift and release the exhaust clamp on the catalytic converter. Disconnect the vacuum hose from the diaphragm box and remove the nut on the holder. Loosen the two rear nuts of the holder just enough for the holder to move freely. The catalytic converter can now be removed. Lift the vehicle again. In the next step, drain the transmission oil and remove the transmission oil pan and the transmission oil filter. Remove the electrohydraulic controller unit. Place the electrohydraulic controller unit on a clean surface so that the fully integrated transmission control unit can be replaced. Please observe the notes and tightening torques from the work instructions.
The electrohydraulic controller unit with the new fully integrated transmission control unit can now be reinstalled. Again, please observe all instructions and tightening torques from the work instructions. The transmission oil filter and transmission oil pan can then be reinstalled. When this work is completed, the automatic transmission can be refilled with oil. Now reinstall the new diesel particulate filter unit with new NOx sensor. This is followed by the new catalytic converter with new NOx sensor. The vehicle is now lowered again. Close the connection between the lambda sensor and the new catalytic converter with this grommet and sealing ring. Observe the proper tightening torque. Then reinstall the air filter housing with engine control unit. Reconnect the battery. A charger must also be connected. Lift the vehicle and temporarily connect the old fully integrated transmission control unit to read out the old transmission data. Lower the vehicle again to connect the Xentry diagnostics and switch on the ignition. Read out the characteristic curves of the fully integrated transmission control unit with Xentry diagnostics. To do this, go to the menu item control unit view, drive type, transmission control for 7 gear transmissions, custom sequences, replace component part 5GS3 with component part 5GS4. Then select read out parameter data from the control unit. Follow the user guidance in the Xentry diagnostics. Switch off the ignition. The vehicle must be lifted again to disconnect the old fully integrated transmission control unit and plug it into the new control unit. Then reinstall the engine compartment linings. Lower the vehicle and switch on the ignition. The commissioning of the fully integrated transmission control unit with Xentry Diagnostics is complete. Next, follow the user instructions in Xentry Diagnostics. Additional control units are automatically updated in the background. Redocumentation of the vehicle is also carried out in the background. An output short test must then be carried out.
clean the bonding surface of the hood to attach the adhesive label. The work is now complete.